Um, it's the first time that I uh, attend an SNRD conference, so my expectation is to, ga uh, to get to know the colleagues who are active here, to get to know them uh, better, to uh, look at the networks that, that the different working groups have, um, to connect with uh, practitioners from our partner countries, uh, and to yeah, have a vivid exchange with them on the issues that uh, are relevant for us. Specifically, I wanted to learn more and engage more with the uh, uh, agribusiness working group, ABIVCD, um, because this is the working group I think that is uh, yeah, the closest to what we are doing in the project, the work on value chains, and uh, I wanted to find out how we can engage more with that working group, I personally, but also we as a project, uh, to share the lessons that we have gathered within the Green Innovation Centers over the last nearly 10 years. Uh, for us, the SNRD is a potential forum uh, yeah, to uh, to share our knowledge, but also to get new input uh, from the colleagues who are also working on value chains. I mean, for us, it's a bit difficult to take a lot of new things up because uh, in our duration, uh, project duration, we we are basically phasing out right now. So it's uh, not so that we, um, yeah, will integrate a new lot of new things in our project. But for me, it was uh, still important to see, okay, how are bigger projects, like regional projects, for example, that also work on value chains, how, uh, what is the status quo with them and also how are they um, uh, looking at uh, questions regarding knowledge continuity. And we had some very interesting exchanges on that where I think we can also learn because we are in a big knowledge continuity process right now to make sure that we anchor all our lessons within GIZ structures and there are some other projects that are um, present here who shared some of their uh, expertise, I think we can yeah, continue the dialogue on that and can also adapt maybe certain aspects of that in, in, in our processes. So we actually have discussed internally before coming here that we really try to make good use of SNRD and not only uh, here in Senegal but also in the near future as long as the project is running because uh, as I explained we are in a knowledge continuity process, we are really uh, creating products that we would like to share where we believe other colleagues working on uh, yeah, similar uh, topics uh, or, or value chains in general can really learn from. So we have three people here from our project uh, that are spread over the different uh, working groups. They all, including me, uh, we did all presentations and um, we, we are really trying to share aspects, parts of our knowledge continuity strategy that we found relevant here according to the topics with the colleagues and we want to continue this uh, in the working groups after the conference, be active there and over the next yeah, three remaining years really uh, want to place our, our knowledge products, our lessons uh, here within the forum. So that is what we try to really bring and we or really look uh, also what are the demands of, of the other colleagues that we don't just come here and talk about the great things we did but really trying to to focus the right people and, and see where where they're at and if they can can if that can add value to them yeah? so. is there any specific thing that you very proud of or that you think is very useful that you can yeah so so we have analyzed our innovation cycle sounds a bit abstract but it's basically the method that we adapted within the project um, and really adjusted this cycle to our impact logic also. So how can we identify innovations, how we can get a joint understanding and testing of these innovations with our relevant partners in the different contexts that we work in. And then how can we disseminate these innovations and how can we scale them. And in between that also how can we always provide feedback loops for adjustments. Uh, this is something that has proven quite successful for us, we believe and uh, it's something that uh, especially colleagues who may, might program new projects um, could learn from because it, yeah, we run over a decade now so we have quite some learnings but also we believe this is something the, the success factors for example uh, for uh, scaling innovations uh, for scaling for impact uh, is something that we can also contribute to the current debate on transforming uh, agricultural and food systems in general so how can you link up uh, evidence from the ground with policy discussions. I think we have some lessons there that could be helpful for colleagues who are now in newer projects uh, uh, doing that and maybe looking for evidence to underline certain points in their policy dialogue. I think we can provide something there. So if I had a magic wand, I think uh, I would look at governance structures actually. I'm a, I'm a bit biased, I'm a political scientist. 
and I worked uh, eight years on land governance and land rights issues and yeah, land governance already entails it, it's, it's, a, it's a governance aspect and I find that we in GRZ, when we look now here at the agricultural uh, sector, we have a lot of good technical expertise, technical knowledge, technical solutions and sometimes still we face challenges regarding implementation that policies are not implemented in a, in a way they, they, they could be or that resources are not allocated sufficiently to actually build up the structures that are needed um, or that uh, certain structures are dysfunctional. Um, so I think, um, yeah, when we discuss the question of implementation, it's really key to look at, okay, what kind of governance structure is there in place? Uh, how participatory is it, um, uh, how transparent and how uh, accountable also uh, are uh, actors within these governance structures. So uh, I think I would focus on that because I think if the right, the right structures are in place, if they are working, then the technicalities, you know, uh, they can be sorted out and then uh, also implementation runs smoother. At least this is also my practical experience from uh, yeah, from, from countries where I, I worked on these kind of issues. So I would look at governance because it's, I think, connecting a lot of the sectors. When we think also of multi-sectoral um, sectoral approaches, climate, agriculture, uh, nutrition, health, uh, the overarching thing that is going through all of that is uh, governance.